Let's calculate dopamine. We've learned two methods, the Flix method and the clock method. The Flix method is not as accurate and is a rough estimate of how many drops would be administered per minute. The Flix method requires you to use your patient's weight in pounds. So if your patient's weight is in kilograms, multiply that by 2.2 and you'll convert the patient's weight in kilograms to weight in pounds. Let's take a look at the Flix method. For example, the physician orders administration of dopamine at 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Our patient's weight is 180 pounds. So 180 pounds. The first step of the Flix method is to eliminate the last digit of the patient's weight. The last digit in this case is zero. That leaves us at 18. The second step of the Flix method is to subtract one. Subtract one gives us 17. 17 is the amount of drops that, be, that will be administered in one minute. This equals to five micrograms per kilogram per minute, what the physician has ordered. For example, if the physician has ordered 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute, then we can take 17 and multiply that by two, which gives us 34 drops per minute. 34 drops per minute will equal to 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Let's do another one. Again, the physician's orders are to administer five micrograms per kilogram per minute of dopamine. Our new patient's weight is 152 pounds. 152 pounds. The first step of the Flix method is to eliminate the last digit of the patient's weight, which in this case is two, which leaves us with 15. Second step is to subtract one. Subtract one equals 14. 14 is the amount of drops that will be administered per minute. And that is equal to five micrograms per kilogram per minute. If the physician's orders were to administer 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute of dopamine, we would take 14, multiply that by two, which gives us 28 drops per minute. And that is equal to 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Let's do another one. Again, the physician's orders are to administer dopamine at five micrograms per kilogram per minute. Our new patient's weight is 90 pounds. 90 pounds. First step is to eliminate the last digit of the patient's weight, which is zero in this case leaves us with nine. Second step, subtract one, leaves us with eight. Eight drops per minute, which is equal to five micrograms per kilogram per minute. If the orders were to administer at 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute of dopamine, we would multiply eight by two, gives us 16, 16 drops per minute which is equal to 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. The Flix method is a very simple method that can be used in your head to calculate the amount of drops of dopamine per minute. Method number two is the clock method. It has more to it, but it provides you with a more accurate calculation of the amount of drops that you will need. Um, the clock method gives you the formula to 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. And once you know that amount of drops, you can divide it in half to get five micrograms per kilogram per minute, whichever the physician's order is. Before we start on the steps of the clock method, let's keep in mind that in these examples, we're using a micro drip set, which gives us 60 drops a minute, equaling one milliliter. So we have dopamine vial of 400 milligrams and a normal saline bag of 250 milliliters. 
These two numbers will provide us with the number at the top of the clock, which is a very important number because if that number is incorrect, all the other numbers on the clock will guide us to the wrong amount of number of, number of drops per minute. So to get the number at the top of the clock correct, we have to take the volume in our normal saline bag, which is 250 milliliters, and multiply it by a number that will give us 1,000. 250 milliliters times four gives us 1,000. We take four and bring it over to this side. 400 milligrams of dopamine times four gives us 1,600. Multiplying 400 milligrams times four actually converts milligrams to micrograms. So 400 milligrams times four is 1,600 micrograms. Let's look at the clock that you will reference to figure out how many drops you will need per minute. So here we have, at the top of the clock, we have our 1,600 micrograms. Then we have 100, 200 micrograms, 300 micrograms, 400 micrograms, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500, and 1,600 micrograms. On the inside of the clock, we have the um, amounts for drops per minute. So this is our micro drip. So here we have 15 drops per minute, 30, 45 drops per minute, and back to 60. So step number two in the clock method is to take the patient's weight in kilograms. Let me focus on my face. So the second step in the clock method is to take the patient's weight in kilograms and multiply it by 10. So if you have the patient's weight in pounds, you have to convert it to kilograms. So our patient's weight is going to be 180 pounds. Converting that to kilograms gives us 81 kilograms. We, take, we now take 81 kilograms and multiply it by 10. Our end result is 810. 810 is the number that we will have to find on the clock, which will correspond with the amount of drops that we will give per minute. So here we have 800, which is 30 drops per minute. 810 would roughly be right over here. That is about 32 drops per minute. So 32 drops per minute gives us 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. If the physician's order was to administer dopamine at 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute, then we would, multi uh, then we would divide 32 divided by 2, which gives us 16 drops per minute. Let's try a different weight using the clock method. For example, our patient's weight is 152 pounds. We have to convert 152 pounds to kilograms, which gives us 68 kilograms. Step two of the clock method is to multiply the patient's weight in kilograms by 10. 68 times 10 is 680. We now have to look at the clock itself to determine which number, which amount of drops corresponds with 680. So there's 600, which is 22 drops, and 680 would be about there. That would give us 24 dro drops, roughly. So 24 drops, that would equal for 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. If we had orders to administer, at, to administer dopamine at 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute, we would divide 24, um, 24 divided by 2, which will give us 12 drops and that equals five micrograms per kilogram per minute. Let's use another weight using the clock method. For example, our patient's weight is 90 pounds. We convert 90 pounds to kilograms, which gives us 40 kilograms. We multiply 40 times 10, which gives us 400. We find 400 on our clock. 400 and our corresponding amount of drops is 
15. Uh, 15 drops will be 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. If our orders were to administer at 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute, we would divide 15 by 2, which gives us 7.5. So we would administer 7 to 8 drops a minute. So I've made a graph to compare both methods and compare how accurate the Flix method is to the clock method. So let's take a look here. Um, and this graph is strictly 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute and the weight for each of the drops per minute is exactly the same. Just remember that for one method, the Flix method, we have to use pounds. And for the clock method, we have to use kilograms. But overall, um, the weight is the same. And let's see how accurate um, the drops per minute, the drops per minutes are. So here we have, if you remember the first the first weight we used um, during the Flix method was 180 pounds, which gave, which gave us 17 drops. The clock method at 180 pounds or 81 kilograms was 16 drops. Pretty close. Flix uh, method at 152 pounds gave us 14 drops. The clock method at the same weight gave us 12 drops. Flix method at 90 pounds gave us eight drops, clock method at the same weight gave us seven to eight drops. So overall, pretty close. So those are the two methods that you can use to calculate dopamine. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments below which method you prefer best. If you find this video helpful, select the like button, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time in the next tutorial. Bye.